Welcome back to the shop, my friends. Steve here at SKS Props, and you all know that I create a bunch of different foam props and costumes. A lot of those have unique compound curves and shapes to them, which means I've got a lot of foam scrap pieces that have those same unique cuts, and sometimes it's hard to utilize these in future projects. Now, I do have a bunch of different bags and boxes with off cuts in them that I will usually whittle down to next to nothing, but I'm getting to the point where some of these are starting to overflow. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to utilize some of these scrap pieces and create something new. And with the Super Mario movie right around the corner, I thought, let's go back, relive something from my childhood and create a pixelated Mario. Now, the thing that I love about this project is not only am I getting to utilize some scrap foam pieces to make something new, but it's an extremely easy project. You just have to cut some squares, paint them up, and glue them together, which means you could definitely build this by yourself or with your kids. And if you would like to make your own pixelated Mario, I have a free foam by numbers PDF that you can download from my website. So I wanna show you what it takes to put pixelated Mario together. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by taking six millimeter foam scraps and cutting them into one inch strips. I could then mark in one inch increments and cut those into squares. I decided to slightly round over the edges with my rotary tool. This will make sure that each square has more of a defined shape. With the sanding complete, now all the squares can be lightly heat sealed. I print off my foam by number template and I'm going to use some 1, 2, 3 blocks to make sure that all the squares when glued together end up in a straight line. Now the way that I'm doing this is grouping all the squares by color. But you could also paint all the individual squares separately and then glue them together at the end of the project. I just felt that to save time this would probably be a quicker method. With all my shapes ready for paint, I'm first gonna add a primer. In this case, I'm using the FX brand, but you could also use Mod Podge, Flex Bond, or Plasti Dip. The main point is to seal the foam so the paint doesn't soak in. I'm gonna be using Liquitex brand Brilliant Blue for Mario's overalls. For the flesh tones, I'm going to be using Liquitex Unbleached Titanium. Cadmium Free Red Medium is going to be used for his shirt and hat. And you can always do a second coat. For Mario's boots, I'm going to be using Liquitex Burnt Sienna. For his hair and eyes, I'm going to be using Liquitex Mars Black. And lastly, for his buttons, a little bit of Cadmium Yellow. You could also be completely retro and go with his red and brown color scheme. It's up to you. With all of my different sections painted, they can now be glued together. Because the foam is only 6mm, I would recommend to put down some scrap paper, just in case some adhesive were to seep underneath. Another thing to note is this project is designed for 1 by 1 inch squares, but you could always change the size of these squares to get a bigger or smaller piece. Once assembled, I really liked it, but I decided I wanted a mat underneath, so I took some additional 6mm foam and I outlined all around him 1 inch. After being cut out, I could then glue Pixel Mario to the foam. Of course, you don't have to do this, I just thought it gave the piece a little something extra. Since I want this as a wall hanger, I find out where the piece is balanced and I mark that point. I'm going to cut some strips of 2mm foam that will act as hangers for some thread. Once the hangers have been glued to the back, the string could be tied and this piece is ready for display.
So you all can see the steps I took to make a pixelated Mario out of some foam scraps. And again, I have a free foam by numbers PDF over on my website that you can download in case you would like to build your own or utilize this idea to make a bunch of different characters for your game room. And if you are building any of my builds or utilizing some HD foam, be sure to tag me at SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because I want to see your creations. Until next time, build your best with the best. HD foam.